Hey, this is Chris Hietzema from Teach to Fish Digital. Uh, this is one in a series of videos in which I'm talking about uh, features that you can add to your, your Google Tag Manager account to help you improve the measurement process for your website or app. Uh, this one particularly is talking about adjusted bounce rate. So there's a little bit of confusion oftentimes with what bounce rate really is. Some people believe that bounce rate is or occurs when someone visits your site, stays for 10 seconds, and leaves. And that's not really the case. Bounce rate is defined by single page visits. So I could visit your website, stay for 10 seconds, and leave, and that would be considered a bounce. I could also come to your website um, and stay for, let's say, five minutes, and then leave. But that's also considered a bounce. So as long as I only see one page, it's considered a bounce. So oftentimes what I, what I feel is necessary is it's important to kind of redefine bounce rate or adjust bounce rate. And, and so this is going to talk a little bit about how to incorporate um, the time on which people spend on your on your website, your landing page, um, or whatever, um, and make sure that you're defining bounce rate a little bit better or just adjusting your bounce rate altogether. So what we're going to do is we're going to rely upon Google Tag Manager to help us place a tag, which is going to count the number of seconds a visitor uh, stays on the site. Um, let's say it's 15 seconds. That's that's an engaged visitor. It could be 30 for you. It could be a whole minute. Uh, totally, it's totally up to you. You, get, you define how 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 engaged what an, what an engaged visitor is for your website. But we'll we'll create a, a tag in Google Tag Manager, and that's going to fire after X amount of seconds, and that'll be defined as our engaged visitor, and that'll allow us to kind of determine all right, which channels are really good at producing engaged visitors. Uh, where do engaged visitors tend to go in terms of visiting content on the site? What do they do? What behaviors do they exhibit, etc.? So uh, let's jump in. Here's our sample site. So again, if I just visit this one page and just dial this phone number right up here and then leave, I mean, that would be considered a bounce because I didn't view any other pages, but that also sounds like a successful visit to me. So again, we want to base um, our engagement metrics uh, on timing, not necessarily number of pages viewed by the visitor. So let's do this first. Let's go into Tag Manager. If you haven't been there before, here's what it looks like. This is gonna allow us to place a tag that fires an event and passes data through to Google Analytics and tells us when we've gotten an engaged visitor based upon the certain amount of time that that visitor spent. So let's go in and create a tag. And you can see there's all, already a, a few tags in here for AdWords and some analytics tags and some YouTube tags uh, that we created in a separate video in this series. Let's create a timer trigger, okay? And so um, we're going to call this analytics timer event. And because it's a custom event in Google Analytics, we're going to say it's uh, analytics tag. We've got to pull in our um, analytics ID, also known as our UA code. I did this already where I created a custom variable because I use a lot of different analytics tags. I don't have to re retype in the UA code every time I can just pull it. This is an event, not a page view tag. Okay, so let's say the category for this one is gonna be called timer. We'll call it action engaged. And then we will go, <coughs> excuse me, call this uh, event label engaged visitor. Okay, all right. Now we've got that all set up appropriately. We don't necessarily need to put in any other values there. We wanna create a trigger that uh, instructs when to fire this particular tag. And so there's a number of different triggers we've got at our disposal here. You see, you can see a bunch that I've already created. I'm gonna create a new trigger up here. And we're gonna call this timer trigger. And let's say it's 15 seconds. Okay. And we've got a, a few different trigger types, page view, all elements, links, form submissions, etc. You can see this timer trigger type right down here. Now the way this works is we've got to give this an interval. Um, this is based in milliseconds. So essentially what you want to do is add on three zeros to however many seconds you want to call an engaged visitor. Since this is going to be 15 seconds, we're going to say 15 uh, thousand milliseconds. We just want to do this one time. And we also want to trigger this on every page. And here's a little trick. So um, we want this uh, Thing to fire on every page. So we're going to say page path, and then we're going to add some regular expression. We're going to say matches regex dot star. Now that's just a fancy way of saying we want this this trigger to fire or to be able to fire 
on every page after 15 seconds of engagement or after, after 15 seconds of a visit. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. We're going to hit save on this one and save on our tag. That's looking good. And before we publish this, we can actually preview the tag to make sure it works properly. So I'm going to hit this down arrow right here, hit preview. Now we are in preview and debug mode. If you've got your Google Tag Manager tag already installed on your website like we do on this sample site, we can just hit refresh and you're going to see a pane kind of pop up. Um, so we've got a couple tags that are loaded already. Uh, already the 15 seconds has started counting, so in about uh, 10 seconds or so, you're going to see another tag pop up. But we've got our analytics page view tag. We've got a remarketing tag for our AdWords remarketing. And then just there, after 15 seconds of looking at this page, you saw the analytics timer event triggered. Okay, So um, what happens is uh, it just counts. So we can change this the timer from 15 to 30 seconds or 45 seconds, however you define as an engaged visitor, you can change it however you like. Just to make sure we did do our do our preview in debug mode, which is which is great. We also want to make sure that this uh, detail and information is firing in analytics. It's it's uh, feeding over to analytics. So I'm going to go into the real time reports in analytics. Hit overview. There's one person on the home page in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. That'd be me. I'm going to go to my events just to make sure that our timer is firing, and it looks like it is. So we've got one active user with the timer engaged, engaged visitor. So as an extra step, what I like to do, and I've, I've kind of created this already where I've, I've uh, equipped this, this particular website with this event already. So once you've got all this set up, it's going to start firing, and you're, and you're going to start um, measuring engaged visits, etc. So what I like to do is, is create a filter or, a, or a, an advanced segment just to kind of see what the behavior amongst engaged visitors is. And so if I say, I'm going to add a segment, this is like a lens that kind of goes over almost every report in Google Analytics. I can just create a new segment. And we said that uh, the event label on this one, here's our timer event was, I believe it was engaged visitor. Okay. So we're going to create an event segment. We'll call it engaged visitors. And the condition on this one is event label. And that's got to equal engaged visitor. I'm going to hit save on that. And now what essentially this does is it, it provides like a little filter or like a lens. I'm going to take all users away. So we can see how over the past, you know, several days, how many engaged visitors we've had. But more importantly, I like to go to other reports and see, all right, where do these people come from? What what uh, channels are, are driving engaged visitors? We can see paid search, display, referral traffic, organic search. And then where did they go? So take a look at the pages that they went to. Um, and you can look at pages by the URL or the page title. So this kind of gives us a good understanding of uh, where engaged visitors are coming from, what they do, if they convert, you can basically apply this filter or lens to pretty much almost every report in analytics. So once you've got that timer trigger set up, the event is firing in analytics, create your advanced segment, and that'll help you get a better understanding of uh, where your engaged visitors are coming from and gives you a better definition of engagement versus uh, bounce rate, which can often be misconstrued. If you have any questions, you can feel free to shoot me an email, give me a call or find me on Twitter. Take care.